So today I'm going to be doing a review on blackhead pore strips that you can do at home. So basically I've got lots and lots of blackheads. I don't know if you can really tell on my camera because my camera isn't very good at capturing things nice and clear but basically my blackheads are like all over my nose and then they, the deeper ones are like down here and that's where it's really hard to get them out. Um, I can't really afford to buy pore strips for my nose and the majority of the time they only work to get little ones out, they don't get the big deep ones out so I thought I'll give this a shot and see if it actually works for me and give you guys my honest opinion on this. I don't really like to lie to you guys if this doesn't work then my honest opinion. One is make sure you have rinsed and cleaned your face so I just use this deep cleansing wash and then I'm also going to be putting baking soda on the area where the blackheads are because apparently it lifts them out, we'll see. So, just want to wet your nose. I have to kneel down because I've got really nothing high enough to be able to show you guys my nose. So basically, you just get a little bit on your finger and I'm not going to lie, this feels like I'm putting sugar on my face. This does not feel... that you don't use anymore or an old kind of one so I'm just using this pink leopard one then you'll need a little bit of toilet paper and what you want to do is you want to cut them into slices of you know what pore strips will look like you need one egg so what you, I'll show you guys in a minute how I do it and you will need a bowl just whatever bowl you have in the house right so what you need to do Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to put a hole in the top of the egg. So, to be able to get the egg white out without getting the yolk, because you don't want the yolk. So basically, just crack it top in the egg. If it's not big enough, just crack it a little bit more. And you want to get make sure you get all the egg white out without getting the yolk. Okay, so I've got the majority of the egg white out. Now what you want to do is you want to get your brush or your makeup brush or whatever you're going to use and you want to mix it until you see bubbles forming in the egg white. So as you can see bubbles have formed. Now you, what you want to do is you want to push that aside and you just want to either cut or just do it with your hands is just get a Okay, I do recommend you probably do cut it because it's a bit hard to... That's kind of going to have to use a knife because I can't find my scissors right now. So basically, if you just want to get a pull strip, a couple pull strips, so I'm just going to do it like that because I'm going to shape it on my nose anyway. So yeah. So now what you want to do is you want to put your makeup brush in the egg white and just rub it on your nose or the area where you want to try and remove the black keys. Make sure your nose is really wet. I do have a nose piercing so it'll probably rip it out but my nose um, piercing is very easy to get back through my hole so I'm not really too bothered. So make sure it's wet enough that it will stick. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really stink. Like, I can't smell egg on my face or anything like that. And it just smells like nothing. 
So I might even put one down here because I've got like down here as well. Then you want to get your toilet paper core strip that you have made. And you want to just press down on the area. And basically you just want to shape your nose, rip pieces off that you don't need. But I'm putting mine down here because I've got black kids there as well. Not everyone has black kids there. Then you want to get some more egg white and you want to just apply. Do it very lightly because otherwise you might tear the toilet paper. Make sure it's wet, make sure that it's all drenched and it's all stuck down because we don't want any bits flipping up when it dries. Hope you guys can see. So, If you do have a nose piercing, um, just take it out if it doesn't close up. If you know it won't close up. If you don't want to risk keeping it in. I don't really mind because, I don't know, I just don't. So I just teared there because I was too rough. I put my core strip a little bit too high up on my nose, but I just couldn't find the scissors. So this was easy. So I'll be back in about 20 minutes, so you want to leave it for 20 minutes and you will know because it'll feel like a poor strip when it dries, apparently it'll start getting hard. So I'll be back in 20 minutes and rip it off for you guys and show you the results. So it has been 20 minutes and it is pretty well dry. I have been using this mini fan to help along with the drying process. It feels pretty much like a poor strip would feel after it's dried very hard so now we are going to try and rip it off and see the results ow so it definitely feels like a pore strip when you're ripping it off it does hurt a little Did it rip my nose ring out? Oh, my nose ring's still in there. <laughs> That's good then. There's quite a bit on there. I don't know if you guys will really be able to, to tell, but there is there is quite a bit on there. There's definitely lots of yellow bits that stick up. So I'll see if you guys can can see. I don't really know if you'll be able to. My camera is not one of those ones that can focus, so I don't think. I will probably insert a picture. I will. It seems to work. Very does seem to work. There is a lot of white stuff on there. Pretty much the whole thing is full of like white stringy bits. So I would definitely give this a thumbs up because it seems to definitely pull them out like it would with a um it definitely feels like it'll pull them out so I'll probably try and see if I can insert a photo for you guys to see if you guys so you guys can see it if not um I would definitely recommend this for you guys with blackheads. It pretty much works just like a pull strip does. They're basically, there's a lot of them, a lot of them on there. Pretty much the whole thing's just full of blackheads. So yeah, I'm going to keep doing this, give it a few more shots and see 
how many we can actually rip out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more, press that big red subscribe button. Say yes.